Hello, everyone. This this lesson is uh, an introductory lesson to the course, uh, statistics course. And the main question is, what is statistics? You'll be studying this for the next uh, two months. So this, this is, it seems like a good place to start. So let's talk about it. So so first of all, here's the definition for you. So statistics is, is um, gathering, let's get a little bit thicker here. Okay, gathering, uh, summarizing, displaying, and drawing inferences from data. So there, there's lots of different ways to explain what is statistics, but this is the way I'm going to choose how to explain it. So let's talk about each of these words one by one. So gathering. Um, usually when you're gathering data, you're, you have a, a population in mind. Maybe you want to know about all the, all the salmon in the Pacific Ocean. So that, that's your population. Now, usually you cannot go out and measure every single individual in your entire population. There could be millions or billions individuals in your population. So what you do is you take a sample. You take a sample, and if, if it's a good sample, it will be representative of your population. And then you take maybe a 1,000 salmon from the Pacific Ocean, and, and you gather some information about them. And that is step one of, of this process. And then once you get your data, then you have to summarize the data. Uh, to summarize it, this thing's like finding the average. What is the average weight of your salmon? Uh, what is the average lifespan of, lifespan of your salmon? And things like that. Now, um, in statistics, we like to use other words besides the average, like mean and median. What is the mean age? What is the median age of a salmon? And, and so forth. Um, but for now, uh, let's just keep moving because th that's mean and median is another lesson. Okay, displaying. What do I mean by displaying data? Well, once you get your data, you have some summaries of your data, then you want to make some kind of graph, a graph of your data. Um, there's, there's many different kinds of graphs, bar graphs, uh, scatter plots, histograms, uh, and, and so forth. And that's all in another lesson as well. Um, and then the final part of statistics, which is, is the, the biggest part of statistics, is drawing inferences from your data. So to draw an inference, that means you have your data from a sample. And let's say that the mean lifespan of a salmon is, is nine years, let's say. So um, what does that say about your population? You have to make an inference. So if your average or your mean age or lifespan of a salmon is nine years, then you can infer that probably your population lifespan is around nine years, plus or minus some margin of error. And so drawing inferences uh, has certain margins of error to them, and it has probability involved with it as well. Um, and that's a big part of, of this course is, is how do you get those inferences. And then the last thing, what exactly do we mean by data? Let's, let's talk about that for a minute. Let's, let's get a new, a new page here. All right. So on, on this page, let's, Let's uh, talk about what specifically is data. OK, so data is, um, mo most generally speaking, it's, it's a list of individuals and characteristics. individuals. All right. So for example, let's say, let's stick with our salmon example. So yeah, you, you just came back from the ocean, you captured a thousand salmon and you measured 
uh, how much they weigh. And so you have the, the list of your individuals right here. And then you have how much each one weighs. So maybe the first one weighs 10 kilograms, the next one weighs 11 kilograms, the next one weighs 13.9 kilograms, and you have your measurements of, of each of your salmon. That's a quick example of, of data. Um, now, usually we don't say characteristics. Instead, we say variables. A variable in statistics is much different than a variable in algebra. Uh, in algebra, you have the variable x, which represents some unknown number in some equation that you want to solve or graph or something like that. But in statistics, a variable is any kind of characteristic. So uh, you could have the variable x be weight. You could have the variable be age. It could be um, sex. It could be place of birth. There's many, many different kinds of variables. Anything you want information about, anything you're interested in, you can you can call it a variable. And um, and then there's two basic kinds of, of variables. Things like weight and age are called um, quantitative variables because they're numbers with measurements. Um, sometimes called numerical as well. Uh, I'll I'll use the word quantitative. And then uh, things like sex and place of birth. You don't usually assign numbers to those, so you assign uh, categories like sex, male and female, place of birth, uh, Pacific Ocean, uh, Atlantic Ocean, uh, or something like that. Um, and so those are called categorical variables. Okay, and, and that is it for the first lesson.